Hey guys and welcome back today to another little overnight camping adventure. I've been able to sneak out just in time after work to head back to an all too familiar spot out here in the Goulburn River National Park. Now for those of you guys who have been around a little while, uh, you will remember that we have actually been out here to the Big River Campground in the Goulburn River National Park before. However, what makes this time so special is that today we will be joined by none other than Steve from Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Touring. Again, uh, those who are subscribed would have seen Steve make an appearance in the Wadigans Overnighter that I did with Mick from Mick's Four Wheel Drive Touring. And Steve also made an appearance in that episode of By the Fire, the hour long special. So I'm really excited for this because it'll be the first camping trip that I've done with Steve. And I believe that he's driving the 200. So I'm pretty keen to see uh, what that car's like, how it's set up and all that because I'm yet to see that. So the circumstances for this trip are pretty interesting. Um, I believe Steve was out on a two week adventure out in the outback and um, due to COVID restrictions that were being put in place, uh, he was towing a camper trailer uh, that he, that he was uh, borrowing off a company and I believe that they needed the camper trailer back. So Steve had to turn around early and so that freed up a little bit of time and he was able to make time for this trip so I'm really keen it's just a little overnighter and um, not sure what we'll get up to because there's not an awful lot to do out in the Golden River National Park besides admire the scenery so we're closing in now to camp I think I'm just gonna cook up some dinner hopefully get set up before the Sun goes down anyway let's get right into it guys down at camp we finally made it here and uh, so did Steve and Karen from Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Touring they didn't take the long way or the wrong way like I did last time so the Sun has disappeared behind the hills so there's not much that we can get up to tonight we're just about to cook some dinner so we'll show you guys around in the morning for those of you who are new around here and have not seen uh, the Big River campground before it's a really nice spot and there's hardly anyone here I'm not here. I'm definitely not here. Don't look at me. I'm not here. Good morning everyone down to a very cold and chilly morning here in the Golden River National Park. It's pretty standard this time of year to be quite cold around here 
and for everything that you have to be frozen over like this actually today seems to be pretty warm compared to the last few days because yesterday the whole car was actually frozen over so not too sure what we're going to get up to today as i said before there is not much to do here in the golden river national park however i will go for a walk and show you guys around as i can't use the drone anymore because i don't have one i do have some drone footage from last time that i'll throw up but um yeah i'll still go for a walk around and see what's changed Anyway, just for now, I'm going to cook up some breakfast and then we'll see where the day goes. So Steve finally uh, rolled out of bed and whipped out his um, his GoPro. Have a look at this thing. Oh, GoPro. GoPro, he's saying. Yeah. Thought he said I whipped something else. <laughs> no. no you so, don't need to see that, guys. So Steve's got a GoPro Hero 8 here. And um, I'm pretty jealous because just before, I was having standard GoPro issues where it was turning off because it's pretty cold and they like to turn off in the cold. And Steve just whipped it out and it didn't turn off at all on him. So um, I think I might have to downgrade from this Hero 9 back down to a Hero 8. Because that's just not fair. <laughs> Mine was in a car all night. It was a bit warmer. So guys, I'm going to show you around a little bit here, the Big River Campground and the Golden River National Park. For those of you who have been subscribed for a while, you know that I have been here before in this exact little camp spot behind me here. So this time we stayed on the very far side down that way and uh, last time I stayed on the very far side this way. Both really awesome spots. Uh, there are a few spots up the back up there behind me which I want to show, but in absence of the drone, uh, unfortunately you guys just have to bear with the GoPro for now. Uh, those of you who don't know what happened to the drone, it fell out of the sky uh, a couple of weeks ago. So this place is really, really awesome. It's just one of those places I think that people tend to drive past a lot and they don't come here and stop in. There's only one road in, one road out, and it is so secluded. It's so peaceful and I love it here. It's so close to home as well. So there are a bunch of waterfront kind of camp spots in here just down the back there and then there's a few up the back here which are a bit more secluded up in the bush now, i think i'm about to be snuck up on by steve steve is actually doing a uh, little series that he does called spotlight on campgrounds he's doing a spotlight on this very campground so if you guys want to see what this place looks like in more detail head over to mud ducks four drive touring and subscribe you will find this campground among many many others out there on his channel 
Uh, he does a lot of in-depth walk-arounds on campgrounds and stuff like that, so it's really worth your time. So here we are coming up around the back, and you can really see why this place is so awesome, why I like it so much here, because there's such a diversity in campgrounds. You know, there's not many people here, but you can choose to sit by the river, or you can come back a little bit more up in the bush. So that's pretty much it for the Big River Campground in terms of showing you guys around it. Like there's not much here, but it is a really, really peaceful little spot. So, so as far as what we're going to be doing for the rest of the day, I'm not really too sure. It is very, very cold out. It was very cold last night. So all of our gear is kind of a little bit wet because it all froze up. So we've got to wait for that to defrost before we uh, start packing up. But after that, I think we're just going to be heading back in town to have some lunch. Like I said before, there's not an awful lot to do here unless you're really into hiking. There's only one road in and one road out. There's no full driving or anything like that, which is all right. This place is really good if you just want to come and get away from things and enjoy the peace and quiet. Uh, that's why I come here. That's why we chose to come here. Often people decide to drive past the Golden River National Park. They are really, really missing out, I have to say. So anyway, I think I'm going to head back down now and uh, have a look at things, start to pack up a little bit. So like I said, it is a really, really nice spot. And if you guys do want to see this place in a little bit more detail, Steve has just finished filming his spotlight on his campground. So go over and check out Mud Ducks 4 Drive Touring. And uh, in a few weeks, I'm sure that this spotlight will be up on his channel as well as a spotlight on spring gully campground which is the other campground up the top back there really really beautiful spots it's it's hard to kind of comprehend how peaceful it is here and how nice as as much as there's not much to do here it's really really enjoyable being here it's just one of those spots so anyway i think we're going to head back down over to camp now see how things are going and then start to pack up all right here we are back at camp guys and steve is going to give us a little quick rundown on his 200 series uh definitely one of the coolest 200 series that i've ever seen so you haven't seen many then no <laughs> <laughs> all right this uh typical touring setup in my opinion will be real brief it's got a set of drifter drawers in the back just the two standard drawers one above the other this one's full of tools it's got stuff in the way so i won't pull it out this one's where the cooking camping gear goes they come with a pull-out table that comes right out it's got legs underneath it if you've ever seen drifter stuff have a look at their videos it'll show you how that works as i said very brief rundown fridge slide and waco cf x50 so you've seen fridges before guys uh, i've got travel buddy this is my favorite feature they are dead set game changers in the world of four-wheel driving and camping these days guys i reckon <laughs> travel yeah. buddies they're brilliant only other thing I've done at the back here is I've got a couple of switches. That one turns an overhead light on on the tailgate. Very useful. And this one here just turns on that Anderson plug. So if I want to plug in some accessory lighting or whatever, I've it's only low current. That one's really rated to 5 amps, but it's good for LED lights. Outside we've got just a 30-second uh, wing awning. It's a 270-degree bat wing. They are self-supporting. There's a review on my channel of the awning. There's also full reviews of the 200 and it's build up on my channel that I'm sure Ryan will put the links up to. Absolutely. You can check that out in the description. Our 200 is pretty standard. It's on just a set of CSA Raptor rims covered in dust, a set of 33 inch Cooper ST Maxes. They're going to change on the next set of tyres to a set of Mickey Thompsons. I've run seven sets of ST Maxes. They're great tyres, but it's time for a change. Uh, other than that, it's just a truck full of comms gear. <laughs> Got big aerials on the front for the HF. Anybody who's done a bit of travel knows about HF. I'm an amateur radio operator, so I've got VHF, UHF antenna here. We've got more on the roof that Ryan will probably show you in some other roll. It's got just the ARB bull bar that was on it and a worn 9,000 pound winch. People get there and say, yeah, 9,000 pounds not big enough for 200. 
they're probably right, but with a snatch block and all the right gear, it'll still pull it out. So uh, up on the roof rack, I've got a set of max tracks. And it's a rhino rack, regardless of all the stuff we've heard about rhino, this one's not overloaded because that's about as light as it gets. <laughs> so that's all part. That's just a strap that ties the awning in place. I've got a color coded shovel because I like things that don't stick out. So I painted the shovel so you don't notice it. Inside, it's got a mess at the present because we are camping. Got a 40 litre Boer water tank in here. No back seat. The back seat's been removed. It's all been approved and registered that way. It's a two seater. I'm building a storage system in here to fix this mess up, but that's down the track. Hmm. The front of the truck is the same as pretty well all 200s, with the exception of an external GPS, because this is not one that had an internal one. It's got a Polaris screen in the middle, which is crap. Don't buy Polaris. And the only other thing that Ryan will show you in a second is in the centre, in front of a gear shift, I've made a custom console where the radios are. As I said, being an amateur, it's got two CBs and two amateur radios in it. And that pretty well covers it. Cheapy spotties on the front that Ryan's walked past already. <laughs> and that's about it. We swag camp in it. We uh, borrow camper trailers. We um, are planning to tow a caravan full time. This vehicle's being set up to tow a three and a half ton caravan full time in a couple of years time so that's the plan on it so that's the short run as i said come over to mud ducks wild drive touring and you'll find lots of videos on this truck and all the stuff that's on it and thanks to ryan for having a look yeah really awesome truck i wish i owned one to be honest um happy with my little truck though it's not quite as nice but i'll get there one day <laughs> so coming over to the back of this car now and just having a quick look i'll give you guys a little bit of an update that Hopefully in the coming weeks, we'll have this back area here fully changed up. Uh, for those of you guys who have been following along, you know that I've been having a little bit of issues with the battery. It's kind of starting uh, to go, I think. It's fairly old, so I'm looking at fully changing that up and uh, installing a few new bits of gear. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, I think it's time that we start getting packed up. So let's get into it. Well guys, thanks for joining us uh, here in the Golden River National Park on our little overnight camping adventure. We didn't get up to much, but we sure did have some fun. I want to thank Steve and uh, Karen from Mud Ducks 4 Drive Touring for driving all the way out here. A really long drive from home. Make sure you guys head over and check out Mud Ducks 4 Drive Touring to see the spotlight on this campground as well as Spring Gully Campground. Steve does a lot of those as I said before. Come and check them out guys. Yep. And as sure all this links in his description. Yep, there will be for sure. You guys will be able to check all those out. When they're released, I'll put them in there because Steve has quite a bit of backlog, so there might be a little difference. Months away, guys, months away. Yep, anyway, still got plenty of other good content to go check out. If you guys like this video, make sure you like it, subscribe, tell me what you thought in the comments below. And as always, we will see you in the next adventure. Cheers, guys.